Hey guys, so it's time here to do benchmark test between the GFlex 2's Snapdragon 810 chipset versus the uh, LG G3's uh, Snapdragon 801 chipset. So the cool thing here is that the uh, GFlex 2 is a 64-bit phone, so it asked me to download the 64-bit app. Okay, that's pretty cool. So let's just go here also to the side. 64-bit. 32-bit, 430, 330. Uh, this one also has only a 1080p display. This one has a Quad HD. So let's uh, run this over here. And see if there is a big difference. I don't know, actually. The Quad HD difference is definitely going to be big because... It's less pixels, so I guess that could kind of affect the score a ton. Eighteen percent here, the G Flex. Two, it's a little bit faster, but I think we're gonna see a bigger difference here once it starts to pick up speed. 26, 18, 31, okay now starting to pick up speed. Which is quite nice actually. And now it's testing CPU, okay. Now it's a multitasking on the Flex 2. It's gonna be interesting on the graphics test, 430, how that stacks up. <laughs> the graphics test are pretty funny. We need more graphical games on Android. I mean, like intense games. It's not that many, actually, it feels like. It's kind of hard to see the FPS in the corner. Okay, so the Flex 2 gets 52,443 in the 64-bit app test. Okay, that sounds pretty high actually. That sounds pretty good. Let's see here how the LG G3 with Snapdragon 801 uh, chipset, how that one performs. Is it uh, far behind? 43,000, so, you know, it's around, I guess, 20% stronger or something. Uh, Snapdragon 810 versus 801 here, uh, so that could definitely be fun there to know. And then again, I mean, remember that it has 3D graphics was uh, on the GPU here was 1080p and it got a lot more score there. 
that could be the big thing here. It's probably the big thing. Uh, how they stacked up. Both also running on Android 5.0. So it could also be good there to know. Uh, but yeah, quickly a video checking that out. The J3 still stacks up pretty good here versus the Flex 2. Have an awesome day. Peace.